Okay, let's start the video. Um, yes, I did that on purpose. It's a lot of fun because my eyes look huge when they're actually quite small. Okay, I have no idea what I'm gonna talk about. Hopefully, y'all, seven of you, all of you seven, I love you guys so much. But anyway, all of you seven love me for me, not for my hair. I apologize for the splotchiness. I did it today. It should go away in the next few weeks. Um, not the pink, but the splotchy. So, I wanted kind of, I don't know. I might not upload this video. If I do, y'all get lucky. I wanted to talk about um, self-harm. And yes, I have had an experience of self-harm. And I want to talk about what happened with me and how I got over it. So, first of all, you can't even see my cuts anymore. They're you can kind of see that where they were, right there. Um, that's why I wear long sleeves. But, um, I did it because uh, I was having issues um, that I can't put online yet. I'm not ready emotionally. I'm sorry. Um, but as I was having this issue, my school was coming down on me, my parents were coming down on me, my friends were coming down on me. My whole brain kind of went shoom, and just got crushed under this huge weight called society. Um, and I started getting this little voice in the back of my head. Um, it started telling me kind of they're right. What, what's the point of you? Why do you exist? Why are you here? You're worthless. That's what it told me. And I know a lot of people have that. And I know it sucks. I really, I know it sucks. It sucks a lot. And it hurts. And to everybody, whoever watches this, who has not had an experience with self-harm, don't tell somebody, I know what you're going through. I've been sad. You you really don't. It's not an experience you want. And it's an experience you... It's an experience that just happens. You don't have control over it. Um, but don't ever say that to somebody. Because it makes them think that, oh, if, if they know and they didn't do it, that makes me worthless. I, I'm not strong. That's what it makes them feel. Tell them I love you. Tell them you're amazing. Tell them that they're so strong for living, for being here. Don't tell them, don't do that. That's never going to work. Because it's, it's like, it's just like alcoholism for a lot of people. You drink, and it's fine, and then you drink, and you drink, and you drink, and you get addicted, and you can't stop. You physically cannot stop yourself. What they need is to know someone is there. They need to make the promise to not self-harm to somebody else. Because promises to yourself are very easy to break. But promises to others, they're a lot harder. And if you say, I'm telling your mom, if you say, I'm telling your dad, they, it will make them worse. It, they, it will put them into such a worse state. So if your friends, if you are somebody, if you're friends with somebody who self-harms, Tell them, if you're friends with them, whoever you are, whatever you're going through. I, I, me, I know what you've been, I know what you're going through and I know how much it sucks. And I love you. You are some of the strongest people in the world. And if um, one of my best friends, his name is Megan. 
yes, he's transgender, um, ever watches this, I love you so much. You are so amazing. Um, and to you all who do okay mm. to you all who do self-harm I really do love you I really do I don't care if I have never met you I don't care I care that you stay here, stay on the earth where you were put, you were put here for a reason, as long as you live, you will always be loved by any and all, no matter what anybody says, please, please don't leave. I love you. So that is my message about self-harm. Please subscribe, comment below what you thought, um, favorite, thumbs up, all the stuffs with the things. And yeah, I will see you next week. Adieu, fellow nerds. Adieu.